Hi there, readers and writers. My name is Miss Hodson, and I'm your virtual teacher. I really appreciate you joining back with us as we begin lesson 33. And today is our last lesson in this article series. So today we will take a little bit of a quiz and assessment and extend our thinking a little bit further really around our guiding questions. Number one, how is the adolescent brain changing? And how can I make an informed decision about an issue like screen time and then effectively argue my position? I am the person who selected all of the articles for your study. And so really getting at this guiding question, this is the first article where we are really diving deeply into the influence that screen time has on the developing adolescent brain and how we spend our time and how it really matters to our happiness and to the balance in our lives. So you can think I'm just crazy about these things, but we pay a lot of attention to the way we spend our time in education, how our students spend their time, and how it helps us develop a balanced and joyful life. So these things matter a lot to me and I look forward to working with you more deeply today. Today, your materials are a little less. You're not gonna need quite as much today, just your article and your lesson. There's a, also lesson 33 quiz in your digital learning packet and you'll need a pencil. So why don't you pause the video, collect those materials, meet me back here in a minute. I'll see you when you get back. All right, thank you so much. I'm excited for lesson 33 and what we're going to learn today. Really, you're gonna use your article so that you can answer the questions that we've put together for the Newzella article that's titled Screen Addiction study links too much device time teen unhappiness so the link is too much device time to teenage unhappiness it might not be true for everyone but they have a very strong argument and i'd like you to go ahead and read that article just in preparation to take the quiz and be thinking about what have you learned about research being done on this topic uh, with teens and screen time. And how should you balance your time outside, like outside the house or outside the school with screen time? And you really can do that for yourself. You don't need an adult, a teacher, a parent, a caregiver telling you to balance your time. How can you do that for yourself and be paying attention to how screen time is affecting you? Oh man, I need a walk. I need to stretch, I need a little sunshine, I need a drink of water, right? Instead of just really getting consumed in what you're doing with the screen, whether that's television, video games, schoolwork, maybe social media, smartphones and things like that. So be thinking about that and go ahead and go read the actual article in preparation for today's quiz. The article will read a little bit quicker today, so go ahead and pause for about 15 minutes, read the entire article, and then come on back and let's have a conversation. All right, thank you. Welcome back. You know, as you think about having a conversation with a family member or a caregiver or even a friend in your environment, I'd really like you to be honest with yourself about how does screen time affect happiness? You know, does staying connected to people promote your joy or does it sometimes make you upset or sad? I think it's really hard sometimes to interpret the intent of a text or social media posts or even an email. Sometimes it doesn't carry the emotion that we mean to. So be honest about how screen time affects your, your happiness. And also think about how do schools and your family use screen time? You can extend that a little bit with your conversation about how can you take responsibility um, 
to do that. And the third question is, I know it's a little bit of a push. What do you think about charging all your devices overnight in the kitchen and not in your room? Just think about that. People have a really young people, old people, we all have a hard time thinking about being separated from our device, whether it's a phone, a tablet, um, a computer. But maybe we'd sleep better. I really want to plant that idea. Why don't you go have a conversation with someone about these things? Get super honest. Take your time. I'll see you back here in a few minutes and we'll get into the lesson and the quiz. All right. You know, I really hope that this week's article allows you some time for reflection with your family, with your maybe brothers and sisters or friends. You can get super honest with yourself about how screen time can affect your happiness and how you can balance your life and your activities every day with screen time and outdoor time, making sure you drink enough water, that you're eating a little something here and there. Because um, I think that we don't always realize how our work on screen, just um, what do we call that? Binge watching a show. Maybe seventh graders don't do things like that, but I hear a lot of adults doing sometimes things like that. And I think we have to be disciplined. So just keep that in mind and be aware. And I hope it promoted some good conversation in your family. At this time, I'm going to have you turn to the Lesson 33 quiz and answer the four questions. Not horrible, just four questions. Feel free to use the article to support you. And don't forget that Lesson 30, 31, and 32 all have some of your thinking already written into those note catchers that might help you with the quiz. Take about 10 minutes to answer that quiz. Come on back and we'll finish out not just today's lesson, but this week. All right. You know, share these questions with somebody in your family and tell them why you chose the answers the, um, and to, to think about things that way. Make sure that as you move into a weekend that you think about what book you could read that could be a lot of fun, maybe a magazine, Maybe a newspaper, you can maybe read online, read on your tablet, keep your options open. Find something interesting that's really on you. Nobody was born to entertain you. Gotta entertain yourself sometimes. You won't always have your virtual teacher in your ear. And your last task for the week is to use a timer, a cell phone timer, kitchen timer, whatever you've got, and start reading at the top of the article and read for 60 seconds and see if you get a little further than you did on the Monday lesson, lesson 30, all right? Mark that number, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. I hope you make it a great day.